Yes, ma'am. You're pretty excited. Yeah. Earlier this week, we talked about what the idea of the chief president Biden as an investigation into happening longer. Are you still? Okay, let, let me first correct you. Were you there when I said that? Okay, then what did I say? Okay, so you're, you're claiming that I said we're going to impeach the president. I floated the idea of impeachment. Okay, so you're wrong. So if you record, go back and watch. I said impeachment inquiry. There is a big difference. And let me explain it because maybe not everybody understands it. What impeachment inquiry does when you vote on the floor, it gives you the apex of power of Congress. Okay? And just walk through what we have two whistleblowers from the IRS claiming the Biden family were treated differently, that David Weiss let the statute of limitations run out. The basic rule of thumb in any case, when you're getting the statute of limitations coming up within six months, you get an extension based upon the individuals. They said the Bidens were willing to do that. They should do that now. We have an individual that we now found went to the FBI a number of years ago claiming that they bribed the president and said you couldn't find the money because all the shell companies, it's the 1023. We found that when then Attorney General Barr found it, that he sent it to the Pennsylvania um, justice and they said there's more to it. When does an attorney out investigate the FBI? We then found that the president Biden, while running for office, made a couple claims. He first looked the public in the eye and said, I've never spoken to my son about any business deal. He said, my family has not taken one dime from China. In part of this investigation, we found that when the vice president became vice president, his family created 20 shell companies, kind of like what the 1023 said would happen. We found that 16 of the 17 payments from Romania came to the president while he was vice president. We now found that money did come from China, differently said. We've now found the president has changed what he said, but we have a real question about David Weiss and the attorney general and the other six people in the meeting. It's contradictive based upon what the IRS agents said and asked questions and took notes from the meetings and emailed everybody about those notes. Now, if you're any member of Congress, this is not saying impeachment. This is not anything but we need to investigate. And what happens, like you watched the situation yesterday, where the federal government says there's still an investigation of the Bidens. Well, the only way you'll be able to get information that way is to have the strength to be able to get the documents you need. I was concerned when asked the question that I haven't seen an administration act this way at the same time as Nixon did by withholding information. If we do not, if they do not provide the information we need, then we would go to an impeachment inquiry. Impeachment inquiry, which simply is an investigation and in providing Congress the power to do that investigation. So I'm glad you asked the question that I could clarify that you misinterpreted and misstated.